What's going on YouTube? Today I wanted to go over my uh, first impressions on the First Manufacturing Co. Donner Gloves. Uh, I just received these a few days ago. I haven't had a chance to ride with them yet, but this video is about my first impressions and how I feel about the gloves initially. So let's get into it. First off, these gloves are lightly lined and they are made with distressed uh, leather. So it's like a brown leather that looks kind of worn down a little bit. That's kind of half the reason I bought these gloves. They don't look just black like most of the other gloves. They have a little bit of a, a little different styling to them. So there's extra padding over the knuckles here. And over here there's some stretch panels over the knuckles as well. There is a Velcro closure on this end and it's kind of cinched in on the back of the wrist here. Which I really like personally because I have big hands but very small wrists. On this side you can see that they are actually touchscreen capable. I will show you a video of about how well they work. It's not perfect, but it does work. They're really good fit for me. I, I feel like these gloves are uh, a really good glove to wear for the fall and the spring. Um, maybe not during the winter because they're not really lined with much. There is, like I said, a lightweight liner on the inside. But as you can see, I have really good mobility within the gloves. They're not too uh, restrictive, which I really like. For a heavy glove, they feel pretty good. I haven't owned a pair of leather gloves like this in a really long time. And I'm, I know that you need to basically break them in, but uh, my initial impressions, these are really comfortable. I feel like I can wear these for a couple hours with no issues. And I feel like over time they're gonna break in and be really, really nice gloves. They're not too baggy. They're not too loose. The sizing is pretty much perfect. Like I said, these are an XL and they fit me better than any XL I've ever owned. Um, some gloves I have to size up, some gloves I have to size down. These ones seem to be pretty spot on, but again, I won't be able to tell exactly how well they fit without riding uh, with them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and ride for maybe 1,000, 2,000 miles, something like that, see how the gloves work out, and then I'll come back and give you a full review on, on the gloves and how I feel about them. But my initial impressions are for $59 gloves, they're really, really good, they're heavy duty. I feel like if something were to happen and I were to fall with these on, my hands would be pretty protected. The knuckles, all the knuckles are reinforced here. The main knuckle panel here, these knuckles are also extra padded, like I said. And the gloves in general, the leather is really, really thick. I don't know how thick this leather is, but it's, it's, it's pretty nice. And uh, for guys like me who have big hands but small wrist, it's a really good fit around the wrist. Um, the Velcro closure works really well so far. Still brand new glove. But if you have bigger wrists, you can always accommodate that by adjusting. And I think that this would be a pretty good fit for pretty much anybody. They're pretty well rounded. The one thing I will say that I'm not used to, and I think it's gonna take some time to get used to, is how fat the fingers are. Um, there's a lot of padding in here, which is a good thing. But I feel like for um, dexterity purposes, it may take some getting used to, because it's, it's a lot of extra material in thickness. Um, but length is perfect, so my, my hands feel really comfortable in the glove just like this. Um, but it's kind of, kind of a bulky glove, which is what I was looking for for the fall and the spring. Um, and then I will eventually get a full-on winter glove that's more of a gauntlet style. That's my little quick first impressions. When I got these gloves, I was really happy with the way they look. I feel like they look really nice and distressed. Um, they don't look like everything that's out there on the market. They're very uh, unique, I feel like. So if you guys wanted to check these out, I'll put a link in the description below. You guys can go and check them out at First Manufacturing uh, Co.'s website. And stay tuned for my next video. I'm going to be making a first impressions kind of review of my next jacket that I'm buying, which is the Raider jacket. It's on its way. And actually, my wife is going to step in and do a small review on the Sexy Biker jacket, both by First Manufacturing Co. So stay tuned for that. And uh, keep a lookout for my other videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.